Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we are going to take up one very, very interesting question from radical rational equations. Square root x over square root x square minus 1 plus 1 over square root x plus 1 equal to square root x over square root x minus 1. We have to find out real values of x. So let's get started by writing domain of the equation first. So we can see easily there are four square roots involved. One, two, three denominators and one numerator because this one is same square root x. So let me write all the domains one by one. So square root x, I can write for real solution, x must be greater than or equal to zero. Come to square root x minus one. So it is in the denominator. So for real solution, x minus 1 should be greater than 0. Equality won't hold here. So I will write x should be greater than 1. Come to this radical term, square root x plus 1. Same way I will write x plus 1 should be greater than 0. It should be positive. Otherwise, complex solution will generate. So that means x should be greater than minus 1. Equality won't hold because it is in the denominator. Now come to the very first square root term that is square root x square minus 1. So x square minus 1 should be positive. Equality won't true means x cannot be 1. Now I can factorize using difference of two squares x square minus 1 square. So I can write x plus 1 times x minus 1. This should be positive. Product should be positive. So let us find using number line method. x plus 1, x minus 1. Two factors are there. Zeros are at minus 1 and 1. Let us find where product will come out positive. So once I will write x plus 1. So after minus 1 it would be positive. So I will write here plus plus and here I will write minus. For x minus 1, I will write plus here, minus minus here. Once it is greater than 1, then it would be positive. Once it is greater than minus 1, then x plus 1 would be positive. Now consider the product. This is negative. Here we will get positive. And in this interval, I will get positive. So where this product is coming out positive, this product, that is, if x is less than minus 1 and if x is greater than 1. So now we have to take the intersection of 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 conditions. So you can see conclusion will come out x greater than 0, x greater than 1, x greater than minus 1 x less than minus 1, x greater than 1. So intersection will come out, x should be greater than 1 for sure. Okay. So conclusion is, once x will be greater than 1, then our solution will be real. If suppose I am getting x negative, so that would be rejected solution. Now let us begin our problem. I will write first identity algebraic formula a square minus b square is equal to a plus b times a minus b. This is what we know. And one more important property of radical that is square root a times square root b. It is square root ab. So I will use both. Let me begin by multiplying square root x minus 1 here in second term numerator denominator. Why I am doing this? See, this is the reason. Square root x over square root x square minus 1 plus square root x minus 1 over, now I will use this second property. I will write square root x plus 1 times x minus 1, that means x square minus 1 equal to square root x over square root x minus 1. Now you can see easily, left hand side we have got common denominator square root x square minus 1. So let me write here, 
square root x square minus 1 and in numerator it would be as it is square root x plus square root x minus 1 and right hand side is square root x over square root x minus 1. Now square root x square minus 1 again I can write square root x plus 1 times square root x minus 1 using both. So I can directly write let me write here root x root x minus 1 over root x plus 1 times root x minus 1 and right hand side if you will see only denominator will get cancelled out. This term I will cancel with this one. Now what is left that is cross multiplication. So root x times root x plus 1 it would be equal to root x plus root x minus 1. Now equation is looking simple we will do squaring both sides. So let me consider this equation in the next slide. Square root x, square root x plus 1 and right hand side was square root x plus square root x minus 1. Now let us consider squaring both sides. Square, square, so left hand side once I will take is squaring both sides then x times x plus 1 I will collect and right hand side if you will see a square so x b square so x minus 1 plus 2ab so I will write 2 times square root x x minus 1 using the radical property. Now simplify it first x square plus x equal to 2x minus 1 plus 2 times square root x square minus x. Expand it. x times x, x square, x times minus 1 minus x. Now I will consider all the term except radical term to the LHS. So x square x minus 2x minus x plus 1 equal to 2 times square root x square minus x. Now you can easily identify that if I will substitute x square minus x some variable means some constant let me write here x square minus x is equal to u. Okay. So if I will give substitution x square minus x is equal to u then you will get equation simple. Let me write here u plus 1 equal to 2 times square root u. Now consider again whole squaring. Whole square, whole square. So u square plus 2u plus 1 equal to 4u. Take all the term to one side. You will get again one algebraic identity. You can see it is u minus 1 whole square. So let us write u minus 1 whole square is equal to 0. Conclusion is u will be equal to 1 with multiplicity 2. Done. Now what is u? u is x square minus x. Let's put over there. So I will write x square minus x equal to 1. Take all the term to one side x square minus x minus 1 equal to 0. Let us apply Sridharachar formula or quadratic formula. So I will write x is equal to minus b. So 1 plus minus square root b square. So 1 minus 4ac. So plus 4 divided by 2a. a is 1. So denominator will be 2. So from here I am getting 1 plus minus square root 5 over 2 equal to 1 plus root 5 over 2 and second value 1 minus root 5 over 2. Now one argument will come that is about domain. If you remember we calculated x should be greater than 1. 
then only we'll have real solution. So now we know that root 5 is 2.236. If I will put here 1 minus square root 5 over 2. So if root, square root 5 is 2.236, let me write 2.236 over 2. So this value will be negative actually. So which solution we will reject? This one will be rejected as it is negative. And our domain is, accepted domain is, x should be greater than 1. If you will check this second value, then it is 1 plus 2.236 over 2. So I will write 3.236 over 2. So obviously this value is greater than 1. So our accepted solution will be x is equal to 1 plus square root 5 over 2. I hope this video will be meaningful to you. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe friends. Bye bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself. Bye.